opportunity to be reassembled on this Lord thank you Wednesday night Bible study in this 12th month yes, Lord. you brought us Lord oh yes you did you brought us this 22nd day in the month of December bless your holy name we pray for the forgiveness of all of our transgressions. Whatsoever we've done, said, or have thought that wasn't pleasing in your holy sight. Pray that you strengthen us where we're weak and build us up where we're torn down. Look upon this country. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. Thank you for your compassion. Turn the hearts of the people, not by your wrath, but by your tender mercies and loving kindness back into thee. Look upon the victims, families that were, look upon them who lost loved ones in that tornado tragedy. You are merciful, you are compassionate. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name and for his name's sake. Look upon this, look upon this government. Lord, guide their minds. We need you in this country, Lord. We pray this prayer. Upon the sick and afflicted, look upon them, Lord. Look upon the homeless. Have mercy. In Jesus' name, we pray this prayer. For his name's sake, amen. Amen. We have a special announcement now concerning this upcoming Saturday. Amen. Amen. This is a special announcement. If the Lord will and we shall live. On Saturday morning, December the 25th, is our annual Christmas Day service at 10 a.m. 985 53rd Street in the beautiful city of Oakland, California. The choirs will sing and Pastor Dr. Scott will bring the sermon. And we will have Sunday worship service on December the 26th. Amen. And on Friday night, December the 31st, is our New Year's Eve candlelight march service. And we will worship right here at Great St. John. And the choirs will sing and our Pastor Dr. Scott will bring the sermon. And if the Lord will, we shall live January 1st, 2022. We will have our annual New Year's Day service at 10 a.m. The choirs will sing and Dr. Scott will bring the sermon. And on Sunday, January the 2nd, 2022, if it's the Lord's will, we will have our Sunday worship services. And all services, once again, will be held right here at Great St. John, 985 53rd Street in Oakland, California. Come on and join us as we thank God for his many, many blessings that he has given us. Thank you. Did you mention about New Year's Eve services? Yes, sir. Uh, starting at 10. I didn't give the time. 10 p.m. Yes. Amen. 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 We're going to bring the choirs now and 
He's an on time God. All right. Amen.
this election. I'd like for you to stand with me. This is a lesson that we don't ordinarily, but it's Bible. Yeah. Amen. And I'd like you to read along with me after this book, the Apostle Paul. Amen. To the church, I want to read the first ten verses, which are so important to get a better understanding of what Paul was saying to this church. Are we ready? Amen. Amen. Okay, let us read. I would that. He know what great conflict I have for you, and for them that will see and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, mm -hmm. that their hearts might be comforted, being together in love, read out, and unto all riches of the full assurance of the Christian, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father. And of Christ, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And this I say, lest any man shall beguile you with enticing words. Yes. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit, joining and beholding your order, and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, yes. after the rudiments of the world, mm -hmm. and now after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Amen. 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 I want to say, you may be seated. Remember in the theology school, talking about, I believe, and emphasizing how you have to be careful who you are listening to in times like this. You have to be careful of what they call the spiritualists. Yes, Those who have, you have a lot of religious over, overtones now. I was talking with one of my former track girls and she said, she's grown and she has a son. She said, you know, I say you have to be careful now because you have these agendas, and male and female and others. She say, it used to be male, female, and but now you have 85 blends of genders. And you have to be extremely careful because they become distractions from the truth. And so we find, he said now, uh, Paul is talking to a people that were believers in education and philosophy. He was in a, a, a region here, this church, Laodicea. They were somewhat like America is now. You hear people say, America is the richest country in the world. But, but you look around and you see homeless everywhere. You see people begging. You see, 
and you say, this is the, you have to be careful not to be deceived. That's what he's saying. You got to be careful who you listen to. People can say, oh, I'm doing fine. And they troubled inside. He's saying the mystery that has been hidden is in Christ. It's not in what you hear from what men see. And, and, and they were a people who, you know, status kind of mentality. You got to be careful uh, in a status kind of mentality, trying to match up when your pocketbook don't do it. See, your treasures are really in Christ, the fullness, your understanding. Get that fully. You want to be really rich? Be understanding in Christ. And many people now, they are hungry for self-gratification, uh, self immediate riches. They play these bingo, the, these uh, scratch things, what do you call it? The lottery. And many other things trying to uh, they even got betting going on on sports now. Legal betting. I say, well, look at this. So we find people that Paul was talking to us right now. Uh, trying to be rich and missing the point. He's talking not to the world. He's talking to the church. The church is messed up. Many people now are confused yes. on who's right and who's wrong. Right. First John say, if they, if they don't believe, if they don't say Jesus came in the flesh, yes. you get away from them. Right. Those are antichrists. Right. You know, people now live, believing in spirits. Right. You have a whole lot of people believe in spirits. Paul said, no, 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 no. Christ is the fullness of it. You, you go beyond that. He's beyond. He's far above that. These spirits that you talked about, people, uh, uh, with seances and, and medias now. They, you have a whole lot of this now going on. You got to be careful about these witches. Amen. So he's saying here the fullness of understanding, the riches. If you really want to have an understanding of life, it's in Christ. It's a mystery, but you got to have, keep your faith in there. Right. Yes. Yes. It's a mystery. I know you haven't seen me. I know you, but, but what I'm trying to do, I'm working hard to get you to stay and stay right in there and get the understanding that your riches does not mean that you have to make a lot of money or do certain things to be comfortable. Your comfortability is in Christ. Your completeness. So we find here, he says, I, I, I really want, I'm, I'm not there. I know some of you haven't seen me, but I take comfort uh, being knit together in love. You know, I have a, I call her my daughter. Never seen this woman in my life. But I call her my daughter. Right. Yeah, yeah. We had, we gave over sometimes some over thirteen thousand dollars to. Yeah. We sacrificed. We yeah. we're not rich, no. but we're rich in Christ. Yeah. He just makes a way for us to. Right. So so, I I got over I believe over five thousand letters yes. from prisoners. And this young, this young, she's young, she's in her late, late 50s now. And uh, we communicate all the time. Amen. I call her my daughter. Mm -hmm. I sent her a uh, certificate to be a member of this church. I said, you're a member of this church. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And she is, we talk, she said, oh, Dad, you, 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 you something else. Mm -hmm. We talked, and I said, girl, you keep up the good work. Amen. You keep doing what you're doing. Right. She said, dad, I'm in school now. Amen. I'm taking classes. Right. I'm making A's on my, yeah, all the A's. Amen. They moved her to where she want to be. At first, 
it was it was almost an impossible situation, but God made it possible for her to move from that uh, limited facility to a place where she feels good about herself now. She's taking classes, college classes, and she's really doing good. And she writes me and says, Dad, well, what, what do you think about this? I say, well, D, I mean, well, I'm not going to call the name. I say, well, daughter, I say, you don't, don't mess around with that. Yeah. I say, the women don't preach. Say, That's the last thing I do now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I say, I haven't found it in the Bible. Mm -hmm. See? And so we communicate. Yeah. Yeah. You know what let us do? It, it, it gives you a memory that what people are thinking about yeah. You can relate back and go back and read it over and over again. This is what Paul, this is why Paul writes letters. So that they can go back and refer. What did Paul say now? Get a better understanding. So he put it in black and white so that we can have an understanding of what's going on right now in our society. In America, People are gravitating so fast trying to make that dollar right. and missing the riches of their life, right. which is the mitten is in Christ. Yes. You know, he said the mysteries of Christ. Yes. You know why he said that? Because he knew they were he they lived in an inquisitive yes. society. Right. They lived in a, a society where they they search things out. Right. Hellenistic Hellen, Hellenism. They they were they really sought out things, philosophy. Yeah, uh -huh. You know, you had uh, uh, Socrates and Descartes and mm -hmm. uh, Socrates and uh, Aristotle yeah. and various others yeah. who were in that Hellenistic period. Yeah. And they strived, they, they, they strolled on philosophy, you know, right. the law of deductions and induction and et cetera and et cetera. So he said, okay, you want to find the mysteries? Go, go delve into that. Search out. Search out Christ. Right. You'll find the riches right. there. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. yeah. So we find we're getting lazy now and not reading our Bibles. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We're getting, quote, unla we're getting lazy not searching out the riches. I have read the Bible, I don't know how many times, but every time I read, there's a, uh, a rev rev revelation yes, that is revealed. Yes, right. Every time. Right. Every, every stage of life, the Lord through his word reveals what I need to know. He said, that's the mysteries. The revelations is in Christ. And he said, you don't need anything else. He said, there's a completeness right in Christ. That's what he, so he's, he's breaking it down. I'm not there, but I'm there in spirit. Some people can be bodily with you and mind some other place. I was talking to a, a former member who said, uh, Reverend, I could sit here right now. Mom, I could be somewhere else. And I wonder, is that the church now? Body, body here, absent in mind. But Paul says, I'm there in spirit. I'm not there physically, but I'm right there with you. In other words, I, I'm studying you. I know you. I feel you. I I'd rather have a pastor, and I thank God for my late pastor. He said, I could be in New York, and somebody tell me if you did that or not, I can say yes or no. I know you're just that It's amazing how people can, and you got some people who will believe somebody outside the church. It sounds philosophically coherent, Sister Mary, but it's all off. That's why you say, don't be careful. Be careful who you, who you talk to. Be careful who you listen to. It sounds good, but it's it's not spiritual. It's not Christ, Christ sound. So we find that in this, he says, 
that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love. And unto all riches, listen, unto all riches, not just some, yeah, right. but all riches right. of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ. Look what God has done. Mm -hmm. He's letting this church know mm -hmm. you don't have to have medias and and uh, soothsayers, no, no, no. witches. No, no. You, all you need is Christ. Yes. If you really want to understand the spiritual world, mm -hmm. understand it from God's perspective. Amen. That's right. That's right. He will Amen. give you His Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And, and and this lesson, people are caught up yeah. in believing. False doctrines yes, yes. to the point where they build their hopes on false hopes. Right. Yeah. That's right. Right. Instead of building it on Christ. Yeah. Right. They can screw your mind up so much oh, yeah. until right will look wrong and wrong right. will look right. That's why he said the, the full assurance. He said, I, I'm not halfway certain. I am full assured yeah, yeah. that what I'm telling you about uh, uh, the understanding of the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ, it is true. Yeah. Yeah. During this time, God has revealed to us the mysteries. Yes. I'm preaching, be it the Lord's will, we should live on Christmas. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not preaching Descartes. Socrates, Aristotle, Hume, or Descartes, and any of those Locke, any of those philosophers. I'm not preaching reasoning. I'm not preaching uh, uh, the tulip by uh, Calvinism or Arianism, or Arius, none of those philosophies, or John Wesley, or Wesleyism. I'm preaching Christ and him crucified, the Bible. That is the full mystery revealed unto us by Christ himself through the Holy Spirit. It's amazing how people can get screwed up, quote unquote. You have to be careful with these redone Bibles. Amen. Getting an understanding. I tell you what, get you, get you a, a biblical concordance. Yeah, sure. But these other redone Bibles, talking about they and them, leaving out he and she, right. Right. and right. turning and leaving out passages. Be careful about that. Right. This is what Paul right. is talking about. Yes. Right. In, a, in essence, indirectly. Yes. Right. Yes. Stay with the word. Stay with Christ. Right. Right. What you have learned. Right. Don't get off into these philosophies. Right. Get away from that trying to prove a point. You don't prove points. No. You just testify and leave it there. Amen. Let the Holy Spirit move in your heart. Now I know this is not a, uh, this is a teaching lesson yes, sir. where many uh, they get away from 
He says here, listen to this, and ye are complete in him. Talk yeah. about, let me go back a piece. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Yeah. You know, you don't have to worry about these mysteries and these spirits. Yeah, he's above that. All the, all the seances and etc. These spirits that's floating in there. That's people walk around, they're making movies now. About spirits walking around. My goodness. He says, and ye are complete in him. Which is the head of all principality. And power. Yes, right. There's no power greater than God. Right. All the yes. principality, these, right. these uh, who controls, you know, right. they believe in astrology and right. astronomy and these goddesses, and et cetera, and Hellenistic. Yes. They had these various gods right. that controlled uh, the plants and the right. Right. they had, in their mind, controlled the sea. And Zeus and Apollos and etc. So all, all of that, he, it, you don't, don't, don't get away from that. Get away from that. The, the, the fullness is in Christ. The, the principalities, all of the powers are in Christ. It's not in, not in, and, and eventually, the people began to get away from the mythologies because they wasn't powerful like they had put their trust in. Right, right. But Paul said, you don't have to do that. Put your trust in the fullness of Christ. Amen. Amen. I'm done for this part of the lesson. We'll come back next week and I will be at the Lord's will. Take up 11 and through 13. Um, Paul said, I'm, I'm, I'm working hard with you. Yeah. I'm trying to get you to really see not to, not to get over that church. Yes. Amen. I, like I, I was talking to the church. Just stay in church. I, yes. That's my... Yes. Read your Bible. Have your yes. meditations. Yes. God bless you. Those who have a live streaming with us, you're most welcome here uh, to celebrate and I'm talking about praise, not celebrate. But we're going to celebrate too uh, the Spirit of the Lord here on, on thanks on New Year's, on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and Christmas. Yes. And the Sabbath day. Yes. Sabbath day. God bless you until next time. Until next time. Saturday, we'll be seeing you on Saturday. Amen. And Sunday. God bless you. Those who like to.